day we're rolling. This is an interview at the Hampton Inn, Newburgh, New York, the 7th of October, 2003, approximately 1 p.m. The interviewers are Mike Russert and Wayne Clark. Could you give me your full name, date of birth, and place of birth, please? My full name is Lloyd Howler Christopher Mayer. I've uh, got four names. Mm -hmm. uh, what else you said? You Place want? of birth and date of birth. Oh, Port Jervis, New York. Uh, the date? 1915. 1915, okay. Um, what was your educational background prior to your entering service? By, I went to school in Port Jervis. I went to, yeah, Port Jervis. I went to school in... Uh, Oh, I, I graduated from Port Jervis. Okay, from the high school. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you remember where you were and your rea your reaction when you heard about Pearl Harbor? At that time, I was uh, in Hartford, Connecticut. I worked for as a setup man on machinery, machines for uh, Pratt and Whitney, and uh, also for uh, Cole Patton Farms. Mm -hmm. That's where I was working. Do you remember what your reaction was when you heard about Pearl Harbor? Yeah, kind of. Uh, it's kind of faint for mm -hmm. now, but right. I mean, uh, it's, it's quite a shock, that's about it. Quite a shock. Mm -hmm. I was shocked with the rest of what we okay. were going to do about it. Now, you mentioned uh, off camera that you had been in the uh, Civilian Conservation Corps. Yeah. How old were you when you were in that? About 16, 17, mm -hmm. just the age you got to get in. Mm -hmm. What did you do in that? I, what did I do? I was stationed there at um, West Point. Mm -hmm. And we went into West Point every morning and cleaned up the, the tree limbs and things down the road because at that time they had a horses. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't, they didn't have motor, right. motorized then. And, uh, we generally do everything around there. Made a whole, outside, we made on the road, we made uh, concrete water things for horses to feed, a drink out of, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know where they got one there now or not, somewhere. Mm -hmm. And things like that. Mm -hmm. Now you said you had joined... Right something. down the bottom of the mountain there. Uh -huh. You said you joined something called the Citizen Military Training. Yeah. Well, what was that and where did you go for that? I we went from middle to, uh, from Newburgh on a train up to Plattsburgh, and right there, Plattsburgh, just above the lake, was the uh, we they had a bunch of tents where we were. Mm -hmm. Now, how old were you when you went up there? About the same age. Okay, it was shortly after the civilian yeah. conservation corps. Um, what kind we of? We only went for one month. Mm -hmm. You know, you go for a month, and you're trained as a soldier. And each year, you, you uh, I didn't bring nothing of that, it would be. Uh, each year you learn something, first year it was rifle, next year it was machine guns, next year it was something else. Oh, so you went up there for three years for one month training yeah. each, okay. Mm -hmm. Now were you paid also to do this? No, or you wouldn't it? pay. Uh -huh. no. No. All right, now you, you said... You got a vacation, as I said, that's what I did to get a vacation when I was a young boy. I was only about 17 then. And mm -hmm. each year you go, yeah, about 19 when I finish. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you said you had gone into the Army. Was that after that? That was after that. Mm -hmm. What years did you serve in the Army? Mm -hmm. See, that was a... Uh... I, don't, I don't want to get you confused. It was right after that, okay. for a year. So in, in 1919 then, or 19, well no, 1930. He's at Plattsburgh, because I've been in Plattsburgh before. Mm -hmm. uh, I got to think of mine. So you had just signed up for one year in the Army? Yeah. I oh, was, okay. okay. Yeah. Did your one, one I year think, and... I think it was two years you could sign up, but I got out in one year. Uh -huh. I think that's what it was. No, I think it's four, is it? Yep. Yeah. Well, three. Three? three so you were, you were about 19 or 20 then when you did that? Yeah. Okay. Because in 1940, I'm going years, in 1940 I went to, from Port Jervis, I went over in Hartford, Connecticut for the jobs I went on. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Um, then I start earning, you know, work money in the factories. Mm -hmm. Now, when you went into the Navy in 1944, were you in, drafted or enlist? I enlisted. Okay. So you must have been. Uh, I was about 27. Okay. 26 around there. Mm -hmm. Why did you pick the Navy? Why did you pick? Well, the I said I've been in the <coughs> army, and I said they ain't gonna shoot at me. They're gonna shoot at what I'm on, and I could swim to it, so that's what I went in. Mm -hmm. um, why did you decide to go in when you went in? Why did I decide to go the, in? Yes, in 1944. Mm, things were pretty bad about that time, I think, and I was a little. Uh, oh, I just want to get in. Mm -hmm. I want to be part of it. What was it? What was it like uh, back in the states, like 1942-43? Was it most of the men were overseas, and you know there weren't that many? Well, they take a lot of people in drafting. Uh huh. You know, <coughs> in the draft, a lot of them. Uh huh. And uh, did, did, in other words, did most were most of your friends in the service at that at that point? Well, I would. I didn't have really have no friends over there. I went from one city, from Fort Jervis, which uh -huh. was over to a state of Connecticut, and got myself a job. You know what I mean? But uh -huh. I brought a lot of guys with me, laugh words, uh -huh. my friends. Uh, <clears throat> it wasn't that, just that I want to be part of it. Uh -huh. okay. I, felt, I felt I want to be part of it. I didn't want to be drafted because I was getting too, too near the age, age where. I wouldn't be drafted no more. Uh -huh. You don't get drafted for 30 uh -huh. at that time either. Okay, um, where did you go for your training? Uh, Great Lakes. And what kind of training did you receive? Uh, five, uh, four weeks of uh, boot camp. Uh -huh. You must have known a lot of the things they did with you then. Since I you know what? You must have known a lot of the oh, basics I, because you had yeah, already... I didn't have to do much uh, training. Mm -hmm. I, they tell me, stand up, don't do no exercise and things like that because I was too good, if mm -hmm. I might bro brag a little bit. <laughs> okay, after Great Lakes, where did you go? Uh, Norfolk. Okay. Um, what kind of... Uh, did you go for any extra training at that time? Uh, I was put on a, a barge for uh, machinery and all, for re repairing anything on that ship. So you were a machinist mate? Yeah, a machinist mate, yeah. I was third class, I went in as a third class machinist mate. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, how long were you in Virginia? Hmm, you got me in a seat. Not too long. Yeah, I went in March in uh, Great Lakes, I think it was, and that was one month. <clears throat> then I spent April, May, and June, I think, about. <clears throat> then I got assigned to a ship. What kind of ship? Command ship for Admiral Turner, <clears throat> which was, he was the head of the amphibious forces mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. Navy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you must have been sent to the Pacific. Yeah, I was sent to the Pacific. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Uh, could you tell us about your experiences going out to the Pacific then? Oh, nice, nice experience <laughs> for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, we went first from the States uh, to uh, Pearl Harbor, all the way through the Panama Canal. Mm -hmm. I stayed at Pearl Harbor from January 19... 43. I wasn't there when a bomb or nothing. Mm -hmm. January 1943. Wait a minute, I was wrong. And then, uh, that's when I left Pearl Harbor. We came there, we were there three, four months. I, I got to think of that. I got it in, in my papers there someplace. Okay. I'll show it to you after okay. you get better dates. I mm. can't give you dates good. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's okay. Um, you can open it. Huh? Now, well, once you we'll were out in the Pacific, uh, after you left Pearl Harbor, where did you go? Where we left? We were assigned to go to Iwo Jima. Mm -hmm. uh, we left there in January. Iwo Jima started in February. Mm -hmm. 
because we had to go beat the whole bunch of uh, ships that was going to go there. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the Marines, where they were, they were stationed in uh, <coughs> different islands. They were stationed in, in, uh, in uh, Tidian, you know where that is? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tidian and also down south more. Uh -huh. And they had to get up there to where we met them all. And all of us went in a great big bunch of ships uh -huh. to Iwo Jima, which was February the 3rd, or, or, or I think it was February the 3rd or something like that. Yeah. And we were the first ones in the, with, with, the, uh, with the Marines. We took the 3rd, 4th, and 5th Marine Division in. <clears throat> so now, were you involved in the landings at all, or? Yeah, we were. We we commanded everything the ship did, mm -hmm. and we had our stuff to do on the ship. But uh, <coughs> on the ship, our ship was uh, in full charge of the landing of Iwo Jima, mm -hmm. of every ship that rode there. And our Turner ship was about thirty miles away, out in the ocean, protected by other ships. Mm -hmm as we were went in and they have our ship had all that radio stuff or uh, radar and all that stuff you know so mm -hmm. we were well protected how close did you get to the beaches how close mm -hmm. close as the ship could get mm -hmm. which was about i would say a half a mile as close as ship could get mm -hmm. in there they picked the deepest spots, probably, mm -hmm. and that's where we were, right there by the mountain. Uh, Suribachi. Suribachi. Were you able to watch the landings at all? Or? I, every, every day, mm -hmm. everything. And uh, we had Mike, you know, Mike uh, to look out, what you call him now? Binoculars. Binoculars, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, I look out of them all the time. I seen him put the flag up. Really? Yeah, I seen. Uh, we had all the big shops on board our boat before they went ashore. Like for Forcell, he was the Secretary of the Navy. I seen him, and he he went up there when they put the flag up and things afterwards. You know, another flag, I guess it was. Mm -hmm. They put two or three flags yes. up. I got one flag that wasn't there. Back home, one. You know, a lot of guys carry flags, mm -hmm. so I got one of them myself. And no, did you carry it or did someone else? I didn't carry it, no. I didn't step on mm -hmm. Iwo Jima. But someone else did that went ashore. Yeah, <coughs> and they, they go on our ship. Mm -hmm. We wasn't a troop ship or not, we right, were a right. command ship. Yes. We carried 90% uh, officers of all kinds. Mm -hmm. We carried, uh, I think there's another guy by the name of Holland or Holland or yeah. something like that. Mm -hmm. And my, my mine was a two-star um, uh, Hill, mm -hmm. his name was, two star. He became three star after that. You can only get four stars then. I guess you get five today. Aren't five, you? yeah. yeah. Um, now who who gave you this flag that was taken ashore? One of the fellows, I forget him even. Mm -hmm. It was more, uh, you know, where you didn't expect things and, you know, I knew the guy good. He gave it to me. Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of uh, things did you do while the landings were going on? While the landings <coughs> going on? Well, I was in charge of uh, uh, air conditioned refrigeration with another three other guys. We took care of all that stuff on the mm -hmm. board ship. Mm -hmm. That's mean to like skull butts where you drink water, uh, ice boxes and all, and wherever thing is stored in the, in the ship. They uh, had to go through us for the keys to get into the big places where everything was stored. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, but you were able to watch most of the Well, events. different times they <coughs> met, we might have to go out and like I had to uh, help, not so much this one, it was in Okinawa, we went to Okinawa afterwards to take care of uh, like uh, smoke pots, make, we made a smoke pot and light them, you know, big barrels, 50 mm -hmm. barrel, 50 gallon <coughs> barrels into the other big ones. <coughs> and uh, we light them, sort of make a lot of smoke, so the planes couldn't come down underneath mm -hmm. and catch us. Because uh, uh, 
I'm going to Okinawa because Okinawa was where we got a lot of uh, suicide planes. Mm -hmm. Tell us about Okinawa then. If how long were you at Iwo Jima for the entire? Iwo Jima, we never we stayed there until it was secure. <coughs> mm -hmm. We are the last ones to go. Mm -hmm. I stayed there from January the 19th, I was I think it was or 9th or something like that, to March. Mm -hmm. The 23rd around there. Did you America. ever get on land at all? Not on Iwo Jima, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, was your ship the uh, mm -hmm. flagship at Okina uh, Okinawa also? Uh, we took care of the second half. The first half was taken care of by another ship. Mm -hmm. uh, and there was uh, something like 13 ships like ours, command ships, all under. Uh, What's my call? The other, the big guy, what's his name was? I forget what his name was. Was it Halsey? He never got any close. Mm -hmm. That was Turner. Turner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Turner was well protected. They, he, he sent a little voice. <laughs> that was us. <clears throat> uh, after the fight, and we got hit a couple of times there from shells and things, we had to go back to uh, Pearl Harbor for more food, you know, on our ship and uh, patching up holes. They put us in dry dock mm -hmm. and things like that for a month. <clears throat> so this was at Okinawa or um, Pearl Harbor or Jeepers? Iwo Jima, you were close enough to be hit by artillery? Yeah, oh yeah. We, I say we was only a little ways away from the... Mm -hmm. I could have swam from my ship to the, to Mount Sarabachi. Mm -hmm. You could see the shells hitting the, the mountain all the time. Mm -hmm. You can see the guys even if you took barraculars and see them on the black sands of Iwo Jima mm -hmm. calling up the black sands. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Were you there for the entire Okinawan campaign also? No, one half. The, okay. But we, we, we got credit for the last half, we got two stars the ship did, the last half of Iwo Jima, uh, Okinawa. We took care of it. Mm -hmm. Were See, you every, ever? All, everything was taken care of off my ship mm -hmm. to there, to all the commanders on the island and everything else. Mm -hmm. Could you describe the kamikaze attacks at Okinawa? Yes, I heard them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> were you, was your ship ever under direct attack by any yes, of them? Yes, we were direct uh, attack at Iwo Jima, uh, not Iwo Jima, Okinawa. Mm -hmm. not, not at Iwo Jima. We right. were, we were right close, but yes. we wasn't under yeah. attack. They didn't have no airplanes there much. There. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, Okinawa, that was desperate for the Japanese, and they sent everything they could. And uh, they attacked us every night putting there. And they sink the ship right alongside you. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, were you there for the typhoon? Yes. Yes. What was that like? Well, we, we stayed out in the ocean. We went out in the ocean and stayed there. A lot of ships didn't. They went up towards China somewhere, I guess, and stayed on the shore. Mm -hmm. They docked near the shore and they would watch up on the shore. And that was pretty bad for them. They couldn't even get them off of there no more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, where did you go after the Okinawan campaign? From there, we went to the Philippines to pick up big guys. I don't know who they were, it's all in my books there, and uh, I could give them to you afterwards. Good job. I didn't expect you to ask me at this okay. time, you know. Um, we went to the Philippines and picked up some big shots there, and down to, uh, on, uh, there's some islands down below there, Kwajalein or someplace. Yes. Yeah. What do you, they practice the uh, dropping of the bomb and all like that. Mm -hmm. I think they took some of the island off and sent the people out of there. There was no more people there. And we went there for a while. And then we headed up to, uh, to Japan, towards Japan for Cebo, uh, Cebo or Cebo or something like that. Mm -hmm. You ever hear that place? Yeah, naval base I believe. Yeah, big naval base there. We went there. Now this was after the atomic bombs were dropped and the surrender. No, they wasn't dropped oh, yet. Oh, not yet. No, yet, not mm -hmm. yet. I think I don't think they were yet because uh, we went to 
what, what our task was afterwards, we took this big guy with us, I don't know what his name is in the book there, uh, I think his name was Holland or something, you ever hear that name? Yes. Uh, he commanded all the army that was going to be put off on different towns, different cities like Nagasaki, Hiroshima, Wakayama, mm -hmm. Tokyo, all them cities. We stopped at every city and, and let a great division of uh, the army off with their commanders and all. Mm -hmm. And behind us would be a bunch of boats, you know, where they on. Mm -hmm. We led them up in the, the different uh, rivers and different places like that. Because sometimes we go up a river, we didn't know we could get out again. Mm -hmm. Because they, they didn't sign the armistice yet. You know, they didn't sign the armistice so after they dropped the bomb and mm -hmm. all. And we were in Japan by that time. And uh, we were going up rivers, we didn't know we could get back out again. Because mm -hmm. all they had to do was close the river down, down the the mouth of the river. What did, was your reaction when you heard about the atomic bombs being dropped? No, well, it didn't face me much. Mm -hmm. I seen it all afterwards. I got pictures of it all from home. I didn't bring it down mm -hmm. to me. So you went to the, the cities after? No, afterwards. as I say, we would go into these cities afterwards. Yes. And sometimes before to allow the American uh, army be stationed there. Mm -hmm. They take over the city, you know, mm -hmm. and the hillside around there. Mm -hmm. And be certain bunch, be, we let off here and a certain bunch there, like we went into Wakayama, you heard of that place? We went into Inward Sea. They got an Inward Sea mm -hmm. there. We went into uh, Nagasaki, Hiroshima, that's where they dropped the bombs mm -hmm. too. And then Wakayama, and a couple other places. I got them. It's getting too late for me anymore to remember all this stuff. But I remember it pretty good. Mm -hmm. You have to remember it. Now, did you ever go ashore in, into Japan? Yes, I did. Tokyo. We went to Tokyo. Uh, our ship sat right alongside the Missouri when they signed the armistice. Uh, you can recognize our ship sitting right alongside them. Mm -hmm. uh, and I went to shore there in, in uh, Tokyo. Uh, Were you able to see the surrender proceedings taking place from your ship? You couldn't see very much. Mm -hmm. No, no, you could not see none because you can't see much there. Yeah, and we were at the same angle that they were. You know, we were sitting just a little off the side, a little bit, a little mm -hmm. too far. Mm -hmm. But you could see what was going on. Mm -hmm. And I went up to the emperor's uh, palace when I shouldn't have with another guy. In the middle of the night, putting her, trying to sell cigarettes, you sell cigarettes, you got two dollars for your cigarettes, for a package of cigarettes, so we had cigarettes all over us. We didn't get caught though, and yeah, didn't want to get caught. So I've been, I walked the streets of uh, Manila, I walked the streets of, because uh, we were in Manila too, also when they, uh, just right after the Japs was kicked out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yes. And uh, they, every, bomb, every building was bombed and women and men and all had to go on the curbstone to go to toilet or anything. And there's no place to go. And all the Japanese ships were caught in, in the bay there. There's a big bay. They were just sticking out of the water, that's all. And I think it was only three or four days after we took Manila, no, we were in there. In yeah. Tokyo, we went in there right after, you know, they dropped the bomb, I think it was, so. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was right after they dropped the bomb, you know, so. I forget that part. <laughs> <laughs> How long were you in Japan? Uh, not too long, about, well, going all around, I don't know how long there now. I got it in my papers, I have to look. Okay. But we were there a good maybe a month traveling around, dropping, you know, like uh, the 5th Division of the Army or something, or whatever you call them. And then we'd drop some more someplace else. And they were supposed to secure the, the city and everything mm -hmm. there. Because there was no American soldiers there or nothing then. All right. When did you return to the United States? 
Well, then we went back to the States. Uh, we went to Pearl Harbor. I guess we stopped there a little bit. And we picked up uh, uh, soldiers that was dismissed because the war was over then, mm -hmm. after dropped a bomb. And the Queen Mary, we accompanied her going to uh, um, to uh, San Francisco. I think she went there. No, did she go there or did she? I don't know. I got in there too. I don't know where she went in there or what. But uh, we we accompany her mm -hmm. going across the ocean. She's a big one. Yeah. Because uh, she didn't have enough uh, crew, not enough uh, space for everybody, you know. Mm -hmm. They were full of uh, soldiers. And we had to go to take some extra ones with us. And. Uh, so then we went from there, we went back to Pearl Harbor. After we unloaded the soldiers, mm -hmm. and went back the next day to Pearl Harbor. And I was already re practically released from the Army then. You know, the war was over and all right. from the Navy. But we were bringing soldiers back because there was, every ship had to bring somebody back. Mm -hmm. Then we come back, we went back to Panama Canal that way and came back to uh, uh, Long Island, and there's where we got Sabro, Long, Long, Long Island. Mm -hmm. and that's where I got discharged. Okay. Um, did you ever make use of the GI Bill after you returned? Not that I know of. How about the 5220 Club? No. I didn't even know about that one. Mm -hmm. What was that one? That was uh, like an unemployment insurance, $20 a week for 52 weeks. No, I never had jobs, trouble with jobs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Never did. Did you uh, join the American Legion or any veterans organizations? I belonged to the American Legion in Beacon in 19... What was it about? What year when I told you? 1992 around there. Mm -hmm. Not too long ago. And I stayed one year because they didn't have an outturn of very good. It wasn't very interesting to me. To me, I gotta be... You gotta... I'm interested in something. I gotta see a movement. Mm -hmm. No movement. Okay. Did you uh, ever stay in contact with anyone that served with you? I try to stay in contact with one by the name of uh, Holmes. H O L M E S Holmes, and he moved to uh, South Carolina. I went there to see him once, and I, I did see him once there. And the next year or so, I went to see him again, and I couldn't find him no more. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where he's dead. Or mm -hmm. He lived in a trailer at the time. The trailers were all moved off of there. Mm -hmm. George, his name, George Holm. He was in the same air conditioned refrigeration with me. Mm -hmm. I learned air conditioned refrigeration in the Navy. Okay. Now you brought some things. Yeah. You may uh, open them. Well, uh, why don't you show us uh, uh, what you brought and uh, if there are any photographs or anything, you can hold them up just in front of you and uh, Wayne can pick them up on the camera. Mm -hmm. I don't know where you can get writings. Maybe a bigger one would be better. I got two of them here. Okay. This is a ship out yeah, If you hold it right under your chin, like just right there, he can pick it up from there. Okay, that's your ship? Yep. We are a camouflage at that time for, uh, you know, airplanes mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. So okay. your ship had a, a number and was did it have a name at all? It was just a yes, number? Yes, it had a name. All ships have names. Yeah, so I, I thought so. I was just wondering. It was named the Orban AGC-10. That means there was 10 ships of that type before that, mm -hmm. if they are still not sunk or something. Mm -hmm. they I guess they sunk a few of them, not many mm -hmm. of them, though. They went up to about 17 or 18, mm -hmm. the numbers, that's all. And they had all these stacks, which was all radar and everything like that mm -hmm. on there. And they 
could just about protect themselves, that's about all, because they'd only had a five inch gun in the front and 40 millimeter guns on the sides and in the front and back. Okay. This here, I don't think you could pick this up with this. You don't want to pick it up. This is the ship I was on, and that's uh, all about it. That was sent to me from Washington, D.C., because I wrote to Washington, D.C., to get information. Mm -hmm. It tells you where the boat went and all like that. You've seen these things before, yes. but I got two of them on that. They read a little different. It mm -hmm. tells you every place the ship went, mm -hmm. practically every place. You, uh, I also went in because I lost a brother at sea. I didn't know it at the, the time. He went to the armed guard. Mm -hmm. He was only 17 years old, I guess. He got in there right on the dot, you know. Mm -hmm. he in. And he just made his trip over to England, I think it was. And the boat was caught by a sub. And he was in the water and he died. Mm -hmm. That's all I know about. I tried to get everything about him. I did get some information about him that he was missing and things like that. I got these all in here. I can't see how I got them in here. These, this was in the paper when I went. That's me. My sister was into. She was in Washington. <clears throat> oh, what, what did she do? Uh, she took care of uh, typing and stuff like that in there, I guess. Mm -hmm. Why don't you have a pull okay. down? Okay. And that was my other brother. He was in the army. He's dead now. He was over in Europe. Mm -hmm. So, so if whole, you hold that up so Wayne can focus the whole, on that. The whole family. Apparently. Okay, so you were in the Navy, you had a brother in the Armed Guard. Yeah. Your sister was in the Navy yeah. in Washington, and you had a brother in the uh, Army. Yeah, a brother in the Army. Mm -hmm. Where did he serve? In, in uh, tanks. Okay. In European yeah. theater then? Yeah. He was under, I forget that the guy there. And he went to Berlin and all. Mm -hmm. But he's dead now until though. Okay. I'm the only one left alive. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, thank you. Okay. You can put that down now. You got it? Yes. Yep. I got my discharge papers here. I can show you that. So you believe I am discharged. <laughs> I thought you were still in the Army and their Navy. <laughs> I think I got here. This is all about the commander uh, that was on that my what ship. I think it is. They got somebody else coming. I <laughs> turn that off a minute. Also, of the invasion of Iwo Jima. Okay. Oh, okay. Do you want you to just hold, hold that up? up? And this is uh, my commander there. Mm -hmm. He's down in the war room. You know. Okay. Now if we hold. You got to start all over again. <laughs> okay, uh, hold on. Okay, got it. Oh, wait a minute, I go through this again. I, I picked it up in a hurry here. Let's see, we Let's got all of that. Of I show you that. Here's a picture of my boat sitting alongside of uh, Missouri. Okay. If you hold, hold it back. Hold, you got to hold it back farther. Oh, okay. That little boat over there to the side. Mm hmm. That's a pretty good camera you got there, huh? Oh, yeah. Yes. 
Okay, got it. They help you uh, get that, or they? New York State paid for it. Yes. How you like for tanky? <laughs> I know. Him for this, it. Is, this is this is tape. We can't do it. We'll, we'll talk about that after the interview. <laughs> we better not talk politics. <laughs> yeah. All right. What else you got there? What else I got there? Let's see here. Oh, it's just yeah. Wall and I started writing my book for let's we'll call it that I was going to mm -hmm. make a book. So I got a lot of paper work or something home yet. I can't show you that stuff. I, I sure. can show you my uh, discharge. I think I got that there. So you've seen the discharges before, I suppose. I don't know where the hell I put it. I got a lot of paper, but I got them mixed up when you said there was a fire there. <laughs> And it take it go all day here for this stuff. Oh, well, that's all right if if you can't find it. That's yeah, right. you 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 got mostly the main thing. Mm -hmm. Right. That's what you got. Okay, mostly. But this this guy here in the hill, you got him. See Harry Hill. He's dead now, by the way. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Well. well yeah. That's all so he was your commanding officer? He was my commanding uh -huh. officer. He made another star while he was there. You're That's looking at this now, huh? Okay, I got it. Okay. All right. You okay. You didn't see him much anyway. He stayed under the bed someplace, I think. Uh -huh. So you never really got to see him, even though he was on the ship? Oh, I've seen him a lot of uh -huh. times, but I say you don't see him too much. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No. This anyway. See, this is all about my brother being lost at sea. Uh -huh. He was lost on the... Uh, he only made one way trip over. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, I think that'll be enough to show you. All right. Yes. Well, thank you very much for your interview. Thank you. I had to. I don't think I can get them in there either. Now.